Hello and welcome to Ghost Gal Knits Podcast, episode 43. I'm Ghost, also known as Sarah. So, I haven't been around for a minute. <laughs> Mostly because my like, podcast took a back burner over the past five, almost six months. Because, according to my notes, the last time I podcast was January. So, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Um, so, I, I've been... It took a back seat because my car basically was at... My old car was at the end of life. Some of you know how much fun I had with that old car. And how much anxiety it caused. That was another main reason why the podcast took a back seat was I was having anxiety issues, mostly due to my old car. So I was using Mum's car, so I was uh, dancing around her schedule basically. And yes, my chair is still squeaky. I'm not buying a new chair. I busted this chair once. Luckily, I had a spare bolt to fix it. But, yeah, cheap bolts don't put too much pressure on them. So my chair has a tendency to squeak a little bit. Or a lot. A lot. Yeah. It squeaks. It squeaks. That's all that... That's all we can do. In. So, shop update here. We have a ton... I got a ton of ideas for the shop for uh, this fall through next year. Um, some of the stuff you will see on today's podcast, other stuff you'll see in podcasts down the roads. I'm planning, um, I'm also changing my upload date from Wednesdays to Sundays, uh, probably Sundays about noon, and I'll be podcasting within those two weeks, um, but just when I, so no, get, so I'm not going to be sitting, sticking to a set podcast date, but I do have a set upload date, which is going to make things a little easier on me, because then I'm not rushing to get it done. I can, so that'll just make stuff a little easier. Um, next, and per normal, I have my notes. Okay. Um, I also now have a freelance um, profile on Upworks, so I'm usually on, I do check around there. I, I'm still learning that one. It's not going to be as much a learning experience as learning how to use my budget was, but it's going to be a little learning experience. Don't worry. I'm not disappearing on you guys again, unless I get, unless the job I take happens to basically take over my life. That's happened before. That was not fun. Um, so, we also have a new channel, Shiny. We actually now have a channel called Ghost Gal Knits. Um, I've also made all social medias for this channel. Um, but the craft room and the knitting club are still the same. One quick moment. Okay. The craft room and the knitting room are still the same. The Discord links are down in the description, along with all the social medias. And in the cards over here, I will put a link to the old channel because there are still videos over there. It's podcast episode, I want to say 12. No, maybe. Yeah, I want to say 12 through um, number 42 are still over on the old channel. I am moving them over to this channel. And as I move them over, I am deleting them off the old channel. So when you go to search, you don't have too much hectic finds. There will be some videos that are not moving over to this channel that will be deleted permanently, though. Don't worry, it's not in the podcast or the yarn holes, because yarn holes are fun. Um, it's going to be just some... One of them was the giveaway, the pre-recorded, and 
What else? What else? What else? Blah, blah, blah. Cheat sheets. Okay. And let's see what we got here. Shop up. There's a shop update, a giveaway, and a pre-recorded that are not going up um, because that is old information that is no longer needed on the channel. That was from when I was doing those giveaways a couple years ago when I was still uh, streaming over on Mixer at the time, but I had stopped streaming because it was putting too much stress on me to the point of I didn't notice the stress until they announced Mixer was being shut down and then I was like, oh, I might want to <laughs> rethink my stuff here. So yeah, that happened. Um, okay. I think we might start getting into the works in progress. I thought when the works in progress bags was falling down. So we're going to start, I'm going to start with the stuff on the floor so I can put it back up, so I can put them back up here where they belong. And we have a lot of works in progress and I have three finished objects that I can show because they're actually down here in my room right now and not spread out throughout the house. Um, but if you head over to... I want to say if you want to hit the knitting club link, I'm pretty good about putting my finished objects into, yeah, uh, over in the knitting club, I'm very good about making sure to put my finished objects there. So you're welcome to, um, enter that when you get in there. Um, just let me know what craft or hobby you do and I can make you a roll for that craft and hobby. And we also have a role for someone who doesn't do a craft. Um, well, actually, technically, it's a moderator role. Hmm, I'd have to rethink that role. Anyways. Or. Yeah, I'd have to rethink that role. So. I'll probably just make like a friend's role or something. If you don't have a craft or hobby. So let's get into the works in progress. <laughs> so my first work in progress is a rainbow blanket. It literally just happens to be coincidence. Hey, get back in there. That I'm starting this this month because um when I get down to one of the other works in progress, I'll explain what happened to why. I was actually going to start this, I think, earlier this year. It didn't happen. Um, I kind of burnt myself out on a project instead. So I've got all my colors in here. This, um, my mom had actually gotten this, me for, gotten this for me for Christmas. So... But this works as a really nice blanket bag because when you have eight full skeins of yarn, uh, some of these skeins I'm going to run out sooner than, well, actually I have nine skeins in here because I have two uh, balls of yellow because I had a um, jumbo yellow ball that I had gone on clearance at Joanne's. That was a steal. That was a good, that was a good find. And Peanut Gallery makes it a sort of an appearance with some cat fur. And if you ever order anything from my store, I am sorry if there's cat fur in your package. There's nothing I can do about that. Core just leaves cat fur. So. We'll put that up there. So this is... Let's not show you the back. I gotta make sure to show you guys the front. Okay, first off, this right here, this one, this top color is cherry red. Not, so I've, so other than the, 
cherry red every other color all the colors are shown true so I'm using pink purple blue light blue green um actually yellow orange and cherry red those are the colors I'm using I did have other yarns I was going to use for this but that kind of got wiped out because I couldn't find one of the colors. And then when I went to find said color, anyways, long story short, I can't really get the yarn anymore. But I've also noticed that um, Michaels is clearancing out all their Red Heart Super Saver yarns. I'm like, what in the heck? And, oh yeah, one more thing. You are going to notice a little theme um, in a couple projects I'm working on right now. Pay no mind to that theme. <laughs> but you will notice it. Um, like, this red I might end up using as well. I know that blue I'll end up using, the white. These are left over from a finished object. Because I had to buy... Um, brand new skeins because I did not have the colors in stock. The only color I had in stock for it was the white. And this is, and I didn't know if I had enough to do some of this. I was able to do all the flags out of this, but I didn't know if I was going to have them. Anyways, you'll see that in a minute or so. Stay. That's another project I'm trying to get <coughs> back into. Just water. So this is my rainbow blanket. This is going to be a uh, block blanket. So this is it's going to be one row of each. I know the red. So I know the pink. I'm going to be for the pink and the purple are going to be forever going through. So I'm not worried. I actually had to jump between brands to get all the colors I needed because like I said Michaels is clearing clearancing out all the Red Hearts yarn and they're not restocking so I have no clue what they're doing but um you can't really get any of the yarns you usually can at Michaels so they barely have any Lions brand. They got rid of all the Vanish Choice yarn. Um, all the Vanish Choice, they got rid of that. Um, there's barely any Lions brand. They still have tons of Burnett yarn, but they're also mixing in their own brand. I think they're leaning more towards just having their own brands now rather than the big brands, so... I'm going to be probably switching a lot of my online shopping to a lot of my shopping online to like Hirschner's, Knit Picks, Webs. Actually, I can drive to Webs. Um, Mary Maxim. So I'm going to be probably switching a lot of those. Next up, this I'm actually making for one of my friends. He knows who he is. So, again, let's not show you the backside because ends. <coughs> Hang on. Okay, it's going to be one of these days. You're going to see me drinking a lot of water because, yeah, talk a lot in my throat is not used. To, I'm. I'm not stuffed up at least, so we can say that. Because how many times have I done this when I'm stuffed up? Anyways. <laughs> so we are just going... So I'm doing this in a four-row repeat. So this is going to be... So once I finish with this blue, I'm going to go back to the black, then red, and so on and so forth. This one I should have done by either Christmas or this time next year. Not sure yet when I'll have this done, but 
I will have it done at some point. Um, this is also I know I'm going to have to buy more yarn for because I barely have, I only have two skeins of black, three skeins of red, and I have uh, about five skeins total of the blue, you know I have six cakes. Uh, two of the cakes are smaller like this one is. Actually, let me show you what this cake. They they were like the size after I got them caked up. Oh yeah, I also got a new ball winder. Which will... That I'll explain why when I get to another project. So what I'm doing is I'm actually starting with the smallest cakes and working my way to the bigger ones for down the line. But I know at some point this blanket will probably be costing, it will cost a bit. It'll probably be down because I make, this is going to be a full size. So like when I did my blanket, last year, yeah, I did this last year, um, this row of four right here took me two, took me two balls of yarn. Yeah, it took me two balls of yarn for the Belladonna row, which you guys know which row that is, you've seen it a few times. So I know as I get, so I know as this gets bigger, it's going to cost me more, it will cost me more yarn. So, but I will deal with that when I get to that point. When I get to the point of it's cost me more yarn, I will deal with that then. Next on the list is, hang on, uh, okay, there we go, my large loom, so, this, um, this originally had the country loom, uh, this blanket, this bit of blanket right here, I'm still working on that, still working on it, it's just, uh, hanging out in the other, I have to yarn somewheres, and it's not in here because I had to clean this out. I think it's hanging out in the other room. Yeah, it is. So this on here, I have, um, this is a ball of Burnett pooling. I have a bunch more of it. So I'm basically making my mom a pretty awesome looking pooling blanket so far. That is looking pretty dang awesome. So I have, excuse me, a whole bunch of that, like six balls, because I was originally going to crochet a pooling blanket, but it's like, no. Trying to crochet that was like, uh, no thank you. This is not easy. So that went on to the yep and nope list because, yeah. Yeah, that went on to the yep and nope. Okay. Next is, um, this is gonna, uh, next we were going to do, we're going to hold off on that one for a minute because I can't get to the yarn that I have yet to put back in the, anyways. So next is my small loom. And on this one, I got this yarn a while back, like, God, at least a couple of years ago. So this is the Premier Spun Colors. I think this was in one of the yarn hauls. 
I want to say it was either one or two. I'm not sure which one. I would have to go back and rewatch them, which I'm not really going to do because reasons. <laughs> so this one I actually, per normal, had to rip out twice. So I had to rip this out once because I did not leave this tail long enough for sewing in, uh, for sewing up the bottom at the end. So it was like, oh, whoopsie. So that's how that went. I like to leave a tail longer than the loom itself to guarantee I have more than enough room. Unless I'm like doing um, an op unless I'm doing like a panel where this whole side is wide open, then I generally will not leave as long as a tail because I don't need it for sewing um, up the panel as I don't need it for sewing. So I will just leave a tail long enough that I have enough to weave in the in for. Uh, could even weave in. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, my throat is not used to talking, so this is getting fun. Next on the list is I have started making my first pair of mittens. Um, these may or may not end up in the shop. I don't know yet because they don't fit my dad. So that's a problem. So these are mittens I'm making. These are from Karen. Um, these ones, I'm actually getting close to where I think I have like to go to about here before I have to do uh, finger decreases. They're a little big on, they're a little long on me. So... But these are coming along nicely. I do have a purple I'm also going to make with them. I mean, I could stop at the end of this row and have a nice pair of fingerless mitts. Which I probably will make. Which I might do for a shop. For the shop and stuff. Um, make some awesome, like, rad colors. Like, maybe some of the neon, if I have... But I think I'm going to use the neon for some hats. Um, for shop. So, yeah. Okay, now we can get to this one. So, here we got... Yes, I had... So, you guys remember this used to be hanging out in a skein form? Yeah. I went to go work on one of these, and it was a no blame. It was a no go. It was a, it was a fight. Let me put it that way. It was a fight. So I have another um, ball of this, which you can kind of see right here, right here. I have another ball. So when I'm ready to start using that ball. I am going to cake it up because I'd rather be watching TV and caking it and fighting it and fighting it that way than, yeah. Yeah, but basically I went to yank on it and to pull, up, to pull some yarn out and it's like, oh crud. I can feel the knots as I'm pulling on them, on it. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to uh, cake this up. And I have 17 of these done. I do have a couple more, but I did them incorrectly. So I've actually gone through and made up my, um, and did stuff on my row counter for this particular project. I actually have a whole bunch of projects in here. Um, I've got a cupcake hat. 
the Treasure Island Shawl, which is a work in progress, but I'm just going to talk about that one when I get down, when I get to it. So that will be like one of the last things I talk about after my works in progress before finished objects. Because I got to talk about it. I'm not going to show it just because it's buried in that pile. Somewheres. Oh, I sort of see the, it's buried, I'm not moving stuff type deal. Um, Habitat Cardigan, that's another one I'm going to talk about. Um, I've got a few other things that I will talk about as we go. Okay, so this is coming along nicely. It's still being housed in high in fiber. <laughs> low in calories. So it's still be housed in this one. Uh I got hang on. Do, 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 do. There we go. I've got all the finished ones here at the bottom. So as I finish them, um, I just on my sec I have a secondary row counter on there that's called bits done because these are bits. And I just every time I finish one, I just hit fit I just hit increase the number on it. So it saves me from having to count. And I also have it set up for when I do the rows. Again, it saves me from having to count and finding out I have the wrong number of rows. You don't want to know how many times that's happened. I end up with, like, one extra row, one less row. I mean, they're more or less all the same number of rows. More or less. Next thing is on my mini loom. So, these are... So, I'm going to be adding some... Okay, this is red, not orange. I haven't gone to the orange yet. <laughs> so, these are 100 grams of yarn, and these will be going on to the store once I finish making them. These are going to be some fashion scarves. They're going to be solid colors. They're going to be one-offs per normal because... I kind of, apparently, this was the yarn I was originally going to use for my um, rainbow blanket, but when I went to start ball winding them, I thought I had them all in here, but it turns out I'm missing green. I thought I had bought green, but it was a while ago. So I don't remember, and I don't think it was in a yarn haul. I don't think it was. I'll have to go back and look through the yarn hauls. If it's in a yarn haul, and I happen to have all the colors, awesome. If not, I'm missing a color. Well, I think it might have fallen somewhere, so I just haven't found it yet. Because in the other room, we have rain carpet. So it might have fallen somewhere, but... Because I couldn't find the green, it prompted me to go look for my look, and lo and behold, I can't really get the yarn anymore. So I'm like, oh, that's happening, which prompted me to switch to a different, which prompted me to um, switch to different brands. I mean, they're relatively the same length, width, and stuff. Length. Oh, not length. Um, there's a couple of colors that I'm using in there that I know I have more of, like the bright yellow, the light blue, uh, the pink. I am I have a little bit of the carrot, but not much. But um those are like the only colors I have more of that I know for a fact. 
and they're easy enough to get. I mean, worst case scenario, I'm stuck with all one brand. I color match the best I can. There's going to be no guarantee that I will be able to get all the colors exactly as needed. So, yeah, that's how that goes. Yeah, that's happening. There we go. So next on the list, this is a kid's hat I am making for the shop. I'm hoping I have enough yarn so I know what sizes I can make. Um, so I'm crocheting some hats for the shop. I'm going to be making um, my normal two-tone hats for the shop like I always do. Um, I actually have a list of color combinations I want to do um, with some names. So I haven't come up with any new names. A couple of com color combinations I'm going to be re-releasing, but they're going to have uh, different names. Let's see here. I just have, I have them written down here. Okay, here we go. So, I've got solids and two tones, um, stripes, I don't know, maybe, we'll see. But I've got a watermelon I want to do. Um, a green variegated purple variegated, which I'm basically doing. Um, I also want to do a blue variegated. And I have some new baby bundles that I'm going to be doing as well. So now my baby bundles will have, you have the option of my traditional two hat, my traditional two hats. But I'm also going to be adding in um, baby bundles that go from newborn all the way up to a year hat increments for the winter babies. So I'm going to be adding some of those in and they're just going to be, um, they're going to be one color. Uh, sorry. Let me just silence that real quick. They can leave a message, hopefully. So phone calls happen. Nothing I can do about them. And last on the show portion and not tell is I have started making my mom's sweater. So this is going to be a cardigan. I have a little bit more to go on this ribbing. Um, the ribbing has to be 20 something inches, I believe. So I have a little bit more to go. And then I can move on to, this is going to be done in panels and will be sewn together. So that's a good thing. So I got a little bit more, like, I think I have like two more inches to do on that before I can move on to the next um, item on it. So that's about it. Um, my sweater is, it's almost done. I kind of stalled out on it. So that happened. The only thing I have left to do is literally just sew the sleeves on. But I am considering making bigger sleeves. Hmm. Because I find the sleeves that I had, I went by the pattern and the sleeves that I made, I find them, they're just a little too tight, right? They're too tight right in here for me. Um, they're actually just too tight on me because I have big, I have, my wrists are not exactly, my wrists are big. Like this is all, it's basically all bone here. 
and I'm I'm big boned. Let me put it that way. I'm big boned. Runs on my dad's side of the family. Nothing I can do about it. So, so what I'm also considering doing is not using the sleep pen she says to use. Because uh, I have two balls of yarn left from this. Mostly because when I was, when she was doing hers, when I was watching the tutorial, the size of the holes she was using, she was making, looked like something you would make with a 10 millimeter hook, not a six and a half millimeter. And anyone that knows millimeters knows they're the big discrepancy there. So, yeah. This may or may not end up going to mum because it might end up being a little small on me. So, I do plan on remaking it down the line. I will remake it. And um, when I read the pattern stuff and things, there were so many people who were like me and like, we had to go up hook sizes to get size. So it's like, oh, okay. So I'm thinking next time I'm going to do a gauge swatch for sure of different hook sizes um, and then work out if I actually can get the gauge, she says, or close to it. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't mind me, fun past couple of days. So I'm hoping to get, so I hope that next time I make it, I was originally thinking going up to a size seven crochet hook, like mm, a seven millimeter crochet hook, like no, eight, mm, no, nine or 10 maybe. I'm thinking I'm going to probably either go up to a 9 or a 10. I don't think I'll have to go up to 16 or 25, thankfully, again. But, and on my Treasure Island shawl, I have to pull out all the work I did recent, recently. Because I somehow made a mistake. But to be fair, on the directions in this particular part, it was a little confusing for me, so I will be remaking, so I will be pulling out till basically the top of where I know I had all the right, the right count, because as I was going across, it's like, oh, this is not supposed to be like this. Uh, okay, yeah, we got a problem here, type deal. So we're going to be so I'm going to be ripping that back, but I'm going to rip back it very slowly. So as I do in the row counter, I can um, take out the rows as I do it. So as I, when I rip off a row, take off a row, rip off a row, take out a row. That's how I'm going to do it. Just take out the rows as I go in the row counter rather than try and work out if I have the right row count on all this. So I think I know what I did wrong. So I'm going to go back and fix that because yeah, because I had made notations that the chain three counts as a double crochet. I forgot that and just used it as a turning height increase chain. So that's basically where I went wrong. Basically. Okay. I think that's it for all the fun. Let's see. Let's see. Showed, 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 showed. Showed, showed, showed. Showed, showed, showed. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So now we are on to finished objects. And the first one is... His ears uh, had a little mishaps. Hang on.
Okay, we have a mishap year happening. So the first one is my little bunny roll. Oh, isn't it cute? I plan on making a red one as well. Right now, this is holding my good batteries. But I want to make a red one to hold the dead batteries. Because they kind of just end up hanging out on the shelf in front of the Xbox. And it's like, oh. Yeah, I might want to fix that. In the next on the list is some garland I made for a fiber challenge. Um, tomorrow when I have mom home, what we're going to do is I got the hangers for it. It's just a red, white, and blue garland. My, I actually got mad at it, threw it out, mom picked it out, and yeah, finished it off for me. So what I'm going to do when she's home tomorrow from work, because she's back at work basically now, is I'm going to have, I'm going to have her help me um, hang it. I got the hangers today at uh, Michael's. They didn't have the ones I wanted, but they had the second option I had chosen just in case. So that was good. And last thing I have, this is a medium sized hat. And this thing's effing big on me. It is big. This will be in the store. Um, but this is, it's, it's big on me. Like I've got, hang on, there we go. I've got that much room. And mind you, I'm barely tight. I don't have any pressure on this. This hat is big on me. <laughs> so I think I'll be doing the small slash teenager for me. So that's all I have for this week. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. And until then, happy crafting and have a good life.